What's up guys, DV here with another Lightworks beta tutorial. Um, in this segment we will be discussing how to trim video clips in an effective and time saving manner. As you can see we've already imported the video clips that we're going to be working with and they're already open in the import bin. Now we already showed you how to cut footage um, using the Lightworks beta program but in this tutorial we're going to show you how to trim and set in and out points in your video. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and select this uh, video clip right here I'm going to open it up like this so that the viewer shows up with the video clip here so it can be previewed. And I'm going to open up a new edit by going over to the, um, the toolbar over here, clicking on the new edit tool. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come up to our video clip that we're working on at the moment. And we're going to go ahead and press play so that we can play back the video clip to the desired location. We're going to click the in point and the out point. And what this does is basically it gives us a window that we're going to be using the video clip for. So we're going to say our scene is going to begin at this marker right here, and it's going to end at this point right there. And then we have the video that's in the middle. But I want to back this up just a little bit before he looks at the camera. So right about there, I'm going to click in, or rather out, and then I'm going to go back to this point. And you can, down at the bottom here, you have the controls that you're going to be using, which are backing up the video by a frame at a time, moving the video forward a frame at a time, or jumping to the beginning or to the end using these tools, which in this case will jump to the out point. But we're going to jump back to the beginning, go here, adjust our timeline, click on the in tool, and now we have our in point and out point set. Now if you want to just totally clear these points, you could just click on clear, and it'll get rid of all the points except the red one which is just your timeline cursor. So we're going to go right about here, in point, go ahead forward, and get forward a couple frames, okay. That'll be our out point. And then once we're uh, satisfied with our window in an out point, so right here, you go ahead and click on insert. It's going to insert it into the timeline right here. So you can see that your video is here, but only the parts that you selected with your in and out feature. Now, you can position your timeline at either at the end of the clip or the beginning, depending on where you'd like your next clip to lie on the timeline. So we're going to position it at the end where the screen goes black. And I'm going to import the first part of this, which I wanted to move to the end here. So I'm going to clear these points on the timeline. Oop. Clear those in and out points. I'm going to go here. Make this my new in point. This my out out point right about there and then I'm going to click on insert and that's going to put the first video clip that we selected here and then the second one here and now I'm finished with this clip so I'm going to close that preview window and then I'm going to open up this one same as I do with the other one by opening up the viewer then I'm going to choose where I want my in point to be right about there where the lights come on and the car starts to move so right about there we'll do our in point play the video a little bit and we'll figure out where we want our out point to lie. So right as it comes up past the camera, right about there will be our out point. And we're going to stop the video. And now with our out point here, we want to back it up to the point where the lights are still on. We don't want them to be turned off just yet. So we can even go forward a little bit more. Uh, right about there is good for our out point. Now we're going to click on move this timeline right there. Actually, we're going to put it right in the middle here. We're going to click on insert and now we have our video of a police car right here. And then we have jump back to our dialogue scenes right about here. And then we could zoom in on our timeline, zoom out, whatever. Um, you can make the timeline bigger so you can kind of see more of it. And yeah, basically that covers trimming um, in the Lightworks tutorial program or in the Lightworks beta program, and I hope these tutorials are helping you guys. I know the other ones were. I'm hoping that this kind of gives you some more in-depth uh, more in-depth information on the program. We covered all these tools right about here, well, right in this area. All these tools were covered. You have your playback tools, your frame adjustment tools, your in-and-out tools, and clearing the in-and-out points, and then these we talked about in our cutting uh, video clip, or uh, cutting footage tutorial. So hopefully these are helping you out. And don't forget to subscribe because we've got a lot of cool special effects and visual effects uh, tutorials coming this coming weekend. Thanks, guys.